Hey everybody, it's Random and welcome to another video. So today I have for you guys another creator class setup and this is the best setup that I have in this game. I previously did say the MSBS was the best gun, but looking at it now, this has got to be my favourite weapon. It's the one I use the most and it's just so good at every situation on this game. Even on maps like Stonehaven, it can be really, really effective as it is an assault rifle. So this is the AK-12 and this gameplay you're seeing in the background is a 20 gun streak that I go on with the AK-12. That's playing uh, one of the new game types, Blitz. I could have probably got the KM strike in this game, uh, but I had to rush in because we were very close to winning this game and all my teammates were just jumping on the objective, which I'm not complaining about, that's exactly what you want them to do. Uh, but it just stopped me getting my streak, so I just had to run in and I eventually died. Uh, but still, it is a nice streak and let's get on to the class. So. The first thing we're using is the attachments, so this is silencer and extended mags and this is one of them guns like the ACR and Model Fair 3 where the silencer actually makes the gun better than it is without it and it definitely is just so effective and it keeps you off the radar which is awesome and that's probably one point, one of the main points why it's better than the MSBS because uh, that gun silence is terrible and I'm using extended mags just because there isn't really any other attachment you can really use that's that effective you could use foregrip or a sight, but they really don't make that much difference because this gun doesn't recall and it has a nice iron sight. And now if we look at my secondary, my lethal and my tactical, I have none of them on because they're useless. And now if we go into my perks, so there's four perks that I tend to use on every class that I have. And the first one is stalker, and then the rest are amplify, scavenger and focus. And I don't think I've ever used a class without any of these on. They're so useful, especially in this game, uh, because Amplify is just amazing. And Stalker, I can't live without on any class, not even an SMG class. I, can, I can't even use one without Stalker. Uh, so definitely have all four of them perks on and you will be away. And the other perk we have on, I tend to switch this up a lot. Uh, but for this kind of gun where you do go on really long streaks all the time, Ping is an amazing perk to use because it just tells you if where everybody is in close quarters uh, to the person you just killed. So if you kill somebody really far away, you could see if anybody's spawning near him. And if you kill people anywhere, uh, if it was close to you, then you'd know where they are. And there are times where Amplify show you can hear like three or four people on Amplify, and you don't really know where all of them are because there, there's so many footsteps and you don't really know what to do and if you just kill one of them ping will tell you where the rest are obviously if they're not using off the grid and it really really is effective now if we go on to my strike package I'm using specialist again just because specialist is my favorite I love having all the perks I can use uh, because they're all really awesome on this game so the first one we earn is slight of hand and this is just for the fact that it's an, it's an automatic gun, so you go through bullets a lot quicker than you do with a burst gun. So that's why you need sleight of hand on this class. And the next one we earn is off the grid. You don't really need this if you're not going for streaks, but if you want to get KEM strikes or just uh, get the highest uh, assault streaks, then off the grid is definitely one of the best perks to use. Uh, because if you're not going for streaks, it doesn't really matter if you're, if you're on the radar or not. But if you're on like a 20 gun streak and somebody called in a satcom and they knew where you were, it kind of pisses you off if you died. So put that on if you want to go in long streaks. And the same goes for dead silence. So I don't care really if people can hear my footsteps if I'm not really on a streak. But if I'm really on a decent streak, I don't want anybody to see me on the radar or hear my feet at all. So that's why I have dead silence on this class. And the two perks we earn at 12 kills are wiretap and dead eye. So I just put wiretap on because it can be really useful if you have a team and an enemy team all using satcoms. You can have constant UAV some of the time. It doesn't happen very often but it does really help if uh, they do and it's just kind of a bonus kind of thing. And the last perk we earn is the best perk in the world especially if you're going for KM strikes. If you keep getting 15 gun streaks and dying or whatever I definitely recommend putting dead eye on because it will save your life so many times especially if you, as higher and higher you get on your streak and you can just properly dominate people because when you run like a 15 gun streak it does work pretty much every kill you get a couple of hit markers with dead eye and it really really is one of the best perks in the game but hence why it costs so many points uh, to have this perk but anyway guys if you enjoyed this class Please leave a like rating, it will be much appreciated and I really appreciate the support you guys are giving me. And I will see you guys later, goodbye.